Hello, I'm Akanksha, a Technical Account Manager here at the AWS office in Boston. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot the route tables if Amazon Virtual Private Cloud can't communicate with the destination. Let's get started. Each subnet in an Amazon VPC is associated with a route table that controls the routing for the subnet. The routing options for your Amazon VPC depend on the gateway or connections that you're using, such as public subnets, subnets using NAT instances or NAT gateways, subnets using VPC peering connections, subnets using AWS VPN, subnets using AWS Direct Connect, subnets using gateway VPC endpoints, subnets using virtual interface VPC endpoint. Now, let's walk through how to check the route tables of the subnets with the resources that are affected. Public subnets. After logging into the AWS Manage console, navigate to the VPC console. On the VPC dashboard, select subnets. Choose your public subnet. Choose the route table view. Confirm that the route table destination has a default route that points to an internet gateway. Subnets using NAT instances or NAT gateways. Now that we see the subnet that's using the NAT instance or NAT gateway, we are in the Amazon VPC console. In the navigation pane, choose subnets. Choose your private subnet. Choose the route table view and then confirm that the route table has a default route that points to a NAT instance or NAT gateway. Confirm that the NAT device is launched in a public subnet. Then perform the checks required for the public subnets listed in the previous section. Please note, if you are using a NAT instance, be sure that you turned off the source destination check. If you want to configure your VPC with IPv6 and prevent traffic from internet routing to your instance in a private subnet, you must use egress only internet gateway. Here you can see I configured egress only internet gateway. Subnets using VPC peering connections. Now let's review subnets using VPC peering connections. Go to VPC dashboard. Choose VPC peering connections. Select your VPC peering connections. Now confirm that the status is active. From the navigation pane, choose subnets and then choose the subnets of the Amazon VPC that you want to connect using a peering connection. Choose the route table view and then confirm that the route tables have one of the following. Routes to the CIDR with specific subnets. Routes to the entire CIDR of the peered Amazon VPC, including the peering connection noted earlier. Confirm that the route tables include all the subnets for the peered Amazon VPC. Confirm that there are no non-valid VPC peering connection configurations. You can see the local route and the target starting with prefix PCX in the peer connection. You can confirm the same other peer VPC as well. Subnets using AWS VPN. Let's review subnets using AWS VPN. Access the VPC dashboard. Select site to site VPN connection. Choose the VPN connections. Confirm that 
the VPN status is available and at least one of the tunnels status is up. Please note that if you are using a dynamic VPN, you must be sure that BGP routes are received by AWS VPN. You can turn on route propagation to confirm that the BGP routes are propagated to the virtual private gateway. In the details view, note the virtual private gateway used for this VPN connection. Choose subnets from the navigation pane and then select the subnet of the Amazon VPC that you want to connect to the VPN. Choose the route table view, then confirm the route destination is your network and the target is the virtual private gateway noted earlier. Subnets using AWS Direct Connect. Navigate to AWS Direct Connect console. In the navigation pane, choose Virtual Interfaces and then choose the private virtual interface. Confirm that the BGP status is up. Note the virtual private gateway used for the private virtual interface. Open the Amazon VPC console. In the navigation pane, under subnets, select the subnet of the Amazon VPC that you want to connect using AWS Direct Connect. Choose the route table view and then confirm there is a route with the destination of your network. There is a route to a target of the virtual private gateway as noted earlier. If you are using BGP, be sure that the routes are received by AWS. You can turn on route propagation to confirm that the BGP routes are being propagated to virtual private gateway. Select the route table and choose the route propagation view. Check if propagate is set to yes. Subnets using gateway VPC endpoints. Access VPC dashboard. Select endpoints and then Choose the endpoint. Confirm that its status is available and then note the endpoint ID. In the navigation pane, under subnets, select a subnet of the Amazon VPC that you want to connect to an AWS service using an endpoint. Choose the route tables view and then confirm the following that there is a route added to the route table with a destination that specifies the prefix list ID of the service. There is a target with the endpoint ID obtained earlier. Finally, confirm that the VPC endpoint policy allows communication to an AWS service for the resource in the subnets of your Amazon VPC. Select the endpoints in the navigation pane, navigate to policy view. Subnets using virtual interface VPC endpoints. Open the VPC dashboard. In the navigation pane, choose endpoints and then choose the endpoint. Choose the subnet column and then confirm that an endpoint network interface has been created in the subnet associated with the service you want to connect. Confirm that the security group allows access to the AWS service. Kindly note that for VPC interface endpoint traffic, the local route in the route table is used and no explicit route entry is required. So now you know how to troubleshoot the route tables if Amazon VPC can't communicate with the destination. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.
Oh, 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 oh,